Welcome to Outdoor Madness, everyone. I am Kerry Clark. Thanks so much for tuning in to another episode. All right, coming to you guys today from the Off-Road Expo in Ontario. Now, let me repeat that. Off-Road Expo, not Jeep Off-Road Expo. But if you look around, I would say 98% of the vehicles here are Jeeps. So if you're into Jeeps, you're gonna love this Expo. I never knew all the things that they made for Jeeps. You're talking about suspension kits, wheels and tires, exhaust systems, lift kits, overlanding kits, superchargers. I mean, I could just go on and on. Now, even though this show is for everybody, I'm dedicating this to one of my good buddies named Ray Daniels. I haven't seen him in years. COVID has just messed up everything and I really miss him and his family. He's got a Jeep Wrangler and I believe he has a Gladiator. So Ray, I know you're gonna love this show, my buddy. I wish I could use all of the original audio uh, from the show, but you guys know, if you're YouTubers, you know what happens. They always have music playing in the background uh, when you're at these expos, and the first thing they try to do is get you for copyright infringement, even though you don't want to use the music anyway, but you don't have a choice if you're, if you're videoing and uh, it's live and the music's there. So there's gonna be a lot of uh, me doing voiceovers on this, but there's also gonna be some original audio on it. Now check this out, an old Dodge Power Wagon. When I was in high school back in the 70s, I always wanted one of these. Now, I was looking all around on this unit and I couldn't tell what year it was. They didn't have it listed on the vehicle or nothing, but you can tell this thing is really clean. What's up, Ray? Ray shines my shoes. <laughs> Man, I haven't seen you in so long. Denise, how you doing? All right, so I know you guys got Jeeps. I'm glad to see you guys are part of the Mopar crew too. <laughs> so I'm out here at this off-road expo in Ontario. And um, I just gotta show you guys some of the stuff that they have for Jeeps. It's just, it's unbelievable. So I'm gonna go around here and uh, try not to slobber, Ray, okay? If he does slobber, Denise, just wipe his mouth. All right, so this is what I mean by overlanding. I mean, check this thing out, the Iron Man. You can just take this thing and just go. It's got everything on it. You can camp in it, sleep in it. You know, you're off-road, you're out in the middle of the mountains, the desert, wherever you are, and everything you can take with you right here in one unit. You don't have to have a trailer or anything like that. But, uh, I mean, this thing is a little overkill, but man, is it awesome. Oh, <laughs> 
like, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> so Ray, are you retired yet? I don't know if you're still working on the rigs or or what. Oh, let's check this one out. Look at this. We gotta get together sometimes, you guys. Maybe go camping or something. It's been too long. Also, check this thing out. Wow. Rubicon. I think that's what you guys have, right? I think both of you guys have a Rub the Rubicon edition, don't you? Man, this thing is crazy. King shocks. Thing is all tricked out. All right, let's go down this way. Jeeps all over the place. Make all kinds of stuff for Jeeps. Check this out. And this is if you want to get crazy off roading. Okay, here, anyone can buy this car. Wow. <laughs> I check it out. Here's the Ram TRX. 6.2 liter. I know this is a truck, but man, I love this thing. Supercharged! Go back here. Got another Jeep over here. Ah, oh, this one's nice. All right, so save the best for last. You gotta tell me what you think about this thing, Ray. Who knows, maybe you already added this to your Jeep. Hi, I'm Jim. I work for Craftworks Superchargers out of Norco, California. We're looking at a, a Jeep JL today. And then we make a supercharger kit that we're just about to release into the market. And we also have a kit for the JK's 2012 and uh, uh, that have a Star motor in them, uh, and that's in the market. Uh, they both have tremendous boost to the horsepower at the wheel, so if, if a person's put on 35s or taller types of tires, uh, they rob a lot of horsepower just in daily use, just driving down the highway. The supercharger kit puts a lot of horsepower that's already under the hood, we just kind of release it. I put a little boost into the motor and attach 
attaching our supercharger kit to it. There's no lag, so you don't have to worry about it spooling up like you might with the turbocharger kit. And it's very drivable, adds horsepower all the way through the RPM range on the Jeeps. Great kit. All right, so one question. Does this void your warranty at all when you put this on the, on the motor? Uh, that will de uh, depend on the dealership. Chances are yes. Okay. So if the vehicle's still under warranty, that doesn't matter to you. Um, if you've already done other modifications to the Jeep, this is the least of your worries. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, so there you have it, guys. The Off-Road Expo from Ontario, California. Thanks so much for tuning in. Ray, hope you guys are doing good. Congratulations on the new grandbaby. Ah, yeah. You got to tell... Lauren and Tanya that I said congratulations. So uh, hopefully we'll get to get to see you guys soon. Thanks for tuning in everybody. And you know the story. I'll see you somewhere in the great outdoors. <laughs>